Hey Leo, welcome to your monthly reading for August. I am Charlene Lizette. Whether you are new or whether you are returning, a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope that you click subscribe and you become a part of our collective. I'm gonna pull out three cards for career and finances, three cards for general overall energy, and three cards for love and romance. Okay, Leo Bear. All right, we've got the Emperor, the Four of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles starting off your career and finances. And then as we move into the general overall theme, we have the Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Wow, very beautiful. And the Ten of Wands. Okay, great. This is really nice. You're finally putting down um, the burdens, the obstacles, the difficulties that you were having in your relationships. Makes sense if you um, happen to be having some type of obstacles or challenges uh, this month because we have Venus retrograde in your sign. So you're in this energy of like really self-reflecting. Um, what's really nice though uh, is that for some some of you, you have started to understand, okay, so this is going to be, there's a lot here to digest. So for some of you, you're finally understanding what your match is, like what it is that you desire in a romantic relationship. For others of you, you have found yourself in a third party situation. And um, the truth about this third party situation comes to light this month. And I don't think it's you, to be honest. Uh, I think it's somebody else, somebody that you may have been dealing with, potentially a boss or an older person. Now, when it comes to your career and your finances, you got the Emperor, the Four of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, wow. You know, it's crazy when readings really align with the astrology. Not because I don't believe in it, like I truly know that everything is connected, but it just solidifies the message that's happening in the cosmos to you through a different form of divination, which in this case is tarot. You've got the seventh house here as your astrology card, which is Libra, which is relationships, it's partnerships, it's contracts, it's business partnerships, it's business negotiations, it's any type of relationship, whether it be corporate, marriage, financial, or personal, okay? Now you've got the emperor, the four of cups, and the Four of Pentacles. What's really happening here is a revelation or a um, moment of clarity that actually comes through from you kind of hardening up. Like you're not being a softie. People don't know this about Leos, but I know, I know. Leos are softies when they want to be, right? And this, this month when it comes to your career and your finances, you're kind of putting your foot down. You're like, I'm not doing this. We're done here. And I think this means that for some of you, you are going to be breaking up some business relationships or some business connections or making better choices. You're really also going to have to focus on budgeting your money and not spending frivolously, okay? I, I think what you're really recognizing here is that it's time for you to mature a little bit when it comes to your finances and your career. It's time for you to stop like... Um, yeah, like stop being immature, like stop being childish around it. I think you're ready to take this next step. I think you're ready to level up in your career and your finances. And now you're recognizing that that means putting on big boy or big girl pants. You know, you're, you, you can't hang around with people making 2K a month if you want to be making a million. Like it's just not the vibe. And that's a, a big revelation that you're having here. With the two of cups, the three of cups, and the ten of wands and death showing up here, I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Like I said, for some of you... um. Some third party situation, some friendships or some some circle where, you know, three is a crowd um, is really revealing itself to you that maybe the time for that connection or those groups of people um, there, it's done. You're leveling up. You're finding new people to hang out with. You're finding new people to associate with. And that means sometimes that old friendships or old connections uh, need to dwindle, need to go because they're simply just not in alignment anymore. And that's OK. It's totally OK. What I really love over all about your reading is the amulet you got from Starseed Jewels, which is Eshel, because it's all about rainbows, happiness, and the moon. It's literally an amulet designed to bring you happiness, joy, um, and moments of celebration and optimism, right? We've got all these beautiful crystals that make up this very, very vibrant amulet. And if you have these crystals at home, wear them together, meditate with them, put them on your altar, or pick up this amulet if you want. If not, don't worry about it. Aqu uh, aquamarine, blue lace agate, rose quartz, amazonite, amethyst, and citrine. Together, a beautiful combination of uplifting, aligned energy. Optimism, joy, happiness, the sun, you, right? Like, it, it, there's this energy here of really acknowledging and recognizing that you're done with things that are not giving you the space to shine your light. Now, the 
Oracle card you got is all path leads home, inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. And with all the retrogrades happening in the month of August, it really makes sense why you're feeling this way. You're almost, you know, whenever we go through our like cycle, our solar return and it's Leo season and you're a Leo, so happy birthday to you. Um, you actually go through an upgrade. You grow up, right? You, yes, okay, sure, whatever. You can add another age if you want to. Like, I don't believe in that. I believe you're timeless. But you add more wisdom, more maturity into your life. Life. And that's what you're seeing this month is the growth that has happened from last year to this year and what growth you require or desire to get to that next stage in your life, okay? When it comes to your love, like I said, in romance, a king of cups, a queen of cups, but the seven of swords, ooh. what I'm seeing here is for some of you a realization of what you desire in a partnership. Um because the seven of swords can sometimes talk about like planning and your thoughts and your mind and your intellect, but it's also a card of deceit and cunningness and like hidden agendas. So I do feel like for some of you, like I said, a revelation around a third party situation is going to be made very, very obvious. Mm -hmm. It's coming through more and more as I sit here, like maybe you start talking to somebody uh, we've got religious factors and wedding like, ooh, yeah, maybe some of you were talking to somebody who's married or like they said they're divorced or separated, but like they're not. They lied. Uh, I would be very cautious about the uh, prospects or suitors that make their way to you. Mm -hmm. For others of you, like I said, you're really getting clear on who your soulmate is and what you need in a soulmate. Okay. Um, let's get these cards. Wow. Nine of wands, religious factors. Yeah. I think there's a lot of like Venus is retrograde. So a lot of truths are going to be revealed. It's just, it's just what it is. It's how the cookie crumbles. Four of pentacles and wedding. Mm -hmm. This is somebody that you feel a very deep soul connection with, but just because you feel it high priestess doesn't mean, doesn't mean that they're it. I think that, uh, this month is where you really get clear and specific on the relationships that you desire, the partnerships that you desire, but you also stop allowing yourself to be taken advantage of and taken for granted of. Like I said, you're going to be focusing on um, how you can shine your light instead of focusing on the people who are keeping you small or dimming your light. All right, Leo, go watch this video to help you out with all this transformative energy that you're going through. And if you want to work with me or pick up your amulets or take any of my courses, it's all in the description box below. We will see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.